Are you ready? Are you ready? I've been a throw up the sex in a I've been a throw up the sex in a Hey y'all, it's your girl Shalee and I'm back again with the next video If you are new here, welcome My girl, where you been? If you're not, welcome back and always Thank you so, so, so much for watching Today's video is actually um, How do I put this? I said down video, yes, but um, it's more of like a uh, talk to you about my experience live video so yeah let's get into it so firstly I want to say thank 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 you so much to Pingo Titi for partnering with me to be able to bring you all this video as you could already see by the title I'm going to be talking to you all about my experience with my first facial and it was done at Pink Cuba to be exact. So she has a couple locations. So for my Trini babe, she is located in both Cuba and Woodbrook. So she caters to both the Southeast and the East West Corridor. So y'all could um there's no excuse. Y'all definitely have options. And for my babes that are overseas, she does have a spa in uh, Crystal City, Virginia, so you can also check her out out there. But let's get into what Pengno City really is, right? So, what Pengno as a whole. So, Pengno is actually a health and beauty spa, and some of the services that they offer include scar therapy, drainage removal, skin tightening, cavitation, facials, pedicures, um, they have post up care. Um, bandage changes or dressing changes there is facials of course and um, quite a better other surgical and non-surgical procedures that you can get done at Pingdo the procedure that I got done was a basic facial and <laughs> we're getting into all the tea about that just now but here is how you can get in contact with Pingdo you can call them via their telephone number which is one eight six eight six zero nine seven four six five, or you can email them at pendocover at gmail.com and you will be able to ask for info and all that good stuff all the contact number the location the links everything i will leave down below in the description box so be sure to check out down there don't forget and let's get into some of my expectations um some of the things i did prior to my treatment or my appointment um how my experience was to begin into details um my aftercare some of the advice that she gave some of the new things that i discovered about my skin some of the new products that i had to purchase and uh, um overall but i must say though the customer service is out of this real i did not know where i was going and she called me in the morning to make sure i was still coming she gave instructions she sent a location which was really helpful and she just has a really warm welcoming personality she is very easy to talk to she's super understanding super kind and she adjusts to everyone really nice Right, so we're getting into prior to my appointment. So prior to my appointment, I didn't do anything different. I continued doing what I usually do. I didn't change my diet. I didn't do any of that. I was pretty much nervous but excited. The only expectation that I had was that I would a tiny little change in my face or the texture of the face but overall I just wanted to be a little more comfortable and confident with wearing my natural um, skin without having to cover up in makeup or do um, spot correcting and all that good stuff so that was prior to the appointment so when I got there, they were super welcoming. There's a sheet you have to pull out. It just basically talks about your allergies, um, if you have prior surgeries, stuff like that, the regular. 
your name, your address, all that good stuff. And the staff at the front desk was also very, very, very welcoming. The esthetician and skin consultant that attended to me, her name was Ariel. So shout out to you, Miss Ariel. She was super nice to deal with. Um, when I started my treatment, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. As I said, it's my first facial, so I didn't know what to expect. Right? Um, the only thing that I have to tell you, all and I have to be very honest with you all, is that the extraction part. Mm. It was the most painful part of the entire procedure. I don't know if it's because I've never had attractions before, but she comforted me and she was like, No, everybody else are coming here usually have almost the same reaction to the extractions. I mean, I, I will insert a clip or two over here so you will actually see. But oh, it was painful. Just in me, I found that she was pressing on my nose, caused my eye to water. It was a bit crazy. But once the extraction was over, it was smooth sailing. After, I didn't feel any type of way. I was comfortable. Oh, and she also allowed me to take breaks in between the extractions as they were so painful. But once, as I said, once I was done with that, um, she cleans me up, she sanitized um, my skin. I think basically she used a cleanser, I want to believe. And then we moved on to the mask. So the mask that she did on me is sort of like a clay mask. And to be honest with you, when it first went on, obviously it's thing a little bit. I think there was glycolic acid in it. So obviously it's done a little bit because I mean she just cleared the congestion in my pores. So obviously it's done a little bit, but other than that it was after a while it kind of cooled long and then she used her handheld fan to help cool it. So that was super nice of her. So here are some of the things that I learned about my skin. I learned that I had dry skin. So I explained to her that. I always thought I had oily skin because my T-zone is always greasy. I always feel like a grease ball around me. But it turns out that I actually have a dry skin and it's because the skin haven't been moisturized enough, which is why it's always greasy. I also learned that even though I was using any and everything I see on YouTube or other people using, I realized that my skin was not being cleaned properly so my pores were still very much congested and all that bad stuff but um the most shocking thing to me is learning that i had sun damage which could have led to me um developing skin cancer that was scary obviously to learn but I was thankful that I did the treatment in order to learn that so I would know how to move forward and how to do things differently and use the products that I needed to cater to my specific issues. So, um, after, after the facial, she recommended the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser so if you watch my last video like the vlog you all will see where i went to pennywise and i picked up this y'all this shit is extremely expensive but it's definitely worth it this was 130 and it's literally three flow ounces but a little goes a long way because as it says it foams up and to follow up with that she um recommended the facial moisturizing lotion which is double action because it acts as a moisturizer but it has sunscreen in it and it is a broad spectrum spf 30. so this i got this as well to follow up with the cleanser and i tried to stay out of the sun as much as possible but yeah those are some of the new skincare products that i added to my regimen after my facial and yeah that's just how my experience went 
but overall I would really recommend that you're at least once a month or once every two months um, visit them get a facial get a pedicure indulge in some self care because self care is extremely important not only for the physical benefits but just for the mental benefits like do something for you do something that will benefit you do something that will make you feel happy do something that will get you to relax apart from all the busy stuff you're doing because as as women we tend to put a lot of other things and other people before ourselves and i feel like we need to take a step back sometimes and just focus on ourselves so yeah definitely recommend you all going to her if you're trying to get that ass trying to slim that waist trying to take every skin uh what else trying to make them toes look like little lollipops all that good stuff reach out to think you're gonna let her know i sent you and um yeah book a service of course book a service most importantly book a service i promise you all will not regret it so that is basically all from my experience and what I am recommending to you all um, in terms of booking a service and doing something for yourself but to close up this video I just want to say thank you again for Pingdo um, for partnering with me obviously to bring to you all this video I really appreciate it look forward to working with you again in the near future and all the links as I said before will be linked down below in the description box so be sure to check out those and thank you so much for stopping by and hearing about my first facial I will keep you all updated as I go along this journey but thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys bye I've been a I've been a